And this is how every one of them comes. So you've got this one set. You have the decorative border panel, excuse me, uh, in the middle, which is the, the decorative border. Using this on its own creates that beautiful into the cardstock. And I did one last Sunday, actually. I did a light up box with one with a star. Uh, so again, this is what you're going to be able to do. You're going to be able to create so many things because you've got these two dies which enable you to create the full board as well. So yeah. the potential that you've got with these is absolutely crazy. For the time being, I am going to flip reverse this to one side. I've got a piece of cardstock. And because I've got the ability, oh, can't be. <laughs> Flip the verse to the right go. side, girl, right, right side. I am going to create myself a little feature of cutting out a shaped piece here, but I've also got this decorative part here. This bit's going to stay connected into my cardstock. So with that said, I think I need my big plates for this one, though, because I've got a really large uh, project with this in mind. So I'm going to bring in my large Gemini plates. And I'm going to use some low tack tape for this because I'm going to spread this card out. I am actually using double-sided Centura Pearl as well, Ooh, Ben, yes. which is beautiful. But we've got lots. I mean, this is going to cut out into lots of different card strokes. So with that said, I'm going to hold that into place. Low tack tape, Debbie, low tack tape. Let's pop that on either side. One thing I would say is if you're not comfortable or confident in doing this in one fail swoop, you could do the decorative element first on its own and then add the outer die, or you could do the outer die first and then add the decorative element in last. So it's entirely up to you. Obviously, we are here to try and cram as many demos as we can in in this two hours. So I'll, um, I'm just going to risk it for the biscuit. So I am going to go in there straight away. Thin metal die. And these are a nice size die as well that will fit through, depending on the project that you're working on, will fit through some of your smaller machines as well. So it's entirely up to you how you use it. If you're going to use it as a border strip, these will go through some of your smaller machines um, as well as your large ones too. So let's just bring that out for a second and then we'll take that off. Do that lovely reveal, which I always love on this. Um, and again, really is a beautiful Peel that back, that side, and that side, and you can see now, look at that little cap, you've got this beautiful cut element. So I'm just going to release it from the top and the bottom. So we're going to go in the top, sorry, the bottom, and we're going to go in the top. And I'm actually going to take that across that fold and then just take it down to that uh, top cut line because I've made this back, uh, a bit bigger, Ben, but look what that creates. This beautiful, stunning feature down yeah, the side wow, of your card. That. And then you're just going to repeat it onto the other side so that you have got, and I've got a little strip going down mine because I've got a little other feature that I'm going to use it with because I'm going to show you that you're using it as that border panel as well. So on this one, I've done exactly the same, but I've actually reversed it and because I've got the other side. I can do that. You've got that ability to do so. Pretty. I've got a little piece of uh, bright yellow cardstock running down the middle because I am going to add now take another piece of centura pearl and use all three together so making sure when you're doing this you tape it down really well and that is because power of the gemini ben what happens or what can happen it can move so make sure that you've taped down your decorative piece and your two outer pieces so that there's no slippage and no die moving anywhere, yes. uh, so it's not going to cross over. Do you know what I mean by that? Where it doesn't snip in, you know, snip into the die. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Yeah. So just take that down, and then we're going to fit that through. I'll put those two pieces. How clever is this outer die, though? Honestly, the fact that it's split, so that then gives you so much more versatility, doesn't it? That's what I love about it's it. So clever. That is. It's what I absolutely love about them. Such a clever concept idea. I mean, edibles are a fantastic concept anyway. Yeah. And the fact that you've got the creator card element in there too, because it can create a card, as you're seeing right now, um, rolled into one, it's like a hybrid. That's oh, a, the word. that's a great a hybrid, word. yes. Hybrid, yes. Hi oh, yeah. And I mean, we do both of those dies particularly Actually, well. Actually, you could call it a die bread. A what? Ah! Oh! <laughs> okay. A die bread. Yes, um. Ben. I knew we had you for a reason. Coming up with those fantastic, fantastic ways. I love it. Absolutely. That's brilliant. Absolutely. I thought our clever with hybrid bit. 
<laughs> You're even better with that dye bread. I'll take bit. your first idea and I'll slightly manipulate it and claim it for my own, Debbie. That's what I'll do. <laughs> now what we've got is we've got this gorgeous decorative panel. And this is where that border panel comes from. That you know, the idea of the border panel. Absolutely beautiful, gorgeous detail running all the way through this. And those daisies look gorgeous. Crying out to be paper pieced mm. as well, these Ben. Uh, but what I'm gonna do with mine is I am going to let me just pop some tape on the back. In fact, I use me uh, I use me glue. So let's pop a bit of glue just oh just onto the back. So let's pop that one. There we go. I'm gonna pop that into the middle of my card. There we go. Just move that across. And then I'm gonna take my border panel and I'm gonna snip it in half. <laughs> you what? I'm gonna snip it After in half. After all that effort, <laughs> cutting it in half. <laughs> you can know, do you absolutely can do so you can either in fact you know what i quite like it that way i'm going to Ooh, reverse yeah. it i'm going to reverse it up there i'm going to use yeah that looks quite nice uh, so i'm going to use my dotty tape pen for this bit so we're going to pop that on let's just place that down from the bottom oh come on stick stick and then this last one in but this is the thing you can get really creative with these you can actually die cut them ben and then act them as a stencil so you could use them as a stencil with inks underneath yeah, yeah. as well that would look lovely i like the idea you just said of paper piece in this one particularly paper piece would look in. oh my goodness it would look absolutely beautiful it really would what's debbie done with the big chunky bone pads of the rear let's just pop that on peel that out of my bag there we go. So I'm going to. Oh, that's a bit big. I didn't think it would be that big. Got a super large one there. That's all gonna right. Pop. Have a beautiful day beautiful. in the centre. Going to pop a little bow on the bottom. There we go. Oh, come on, glue. Come on, glue. There we go. And then I'm just going to add that little detail. And then I'm just going to finish it off by bringing in some little diamonds. Oops, I think I might have got a couple joined together there. And I'm just going to add couple of little oh wait a minute the big gem's got something stuck underneath it oh, then okay so i'm just going to add a few little extra details into the center just to make this pop out a little bit okay i mean i know many crafters will have a um, wealth of gems in their stash because they're for anything like me you'll have got hundreds and hundreds and thousands of them <laughs> because they're just lovely and they just add a little little fancy feature i'm just going like to put that. a couple of little oh, extra not ones not finished yet not finished yet just to sometimes i have oh, to step yeah, away from the side. gems sometimes i have to step away from the gems but however I'm just going to lift that off at the back because what i'm going to do is make it lift a little bit more and i'm going to add some glue onto the back of my matte black cardstock and pop that in that back panel and then just to make it pop and that yellow pop i've got some textured cardstock that i'm going to place over the top of it and again ready now just to add a verse or something in there but now this will make all the difference just by popping oh, that off yes debbie and then when Boom. you take that you've got all of those beautiful panel features with that beautiful decorative element running down the sides and then just by adding that touch of colour underneath brings the, brings the background of the foreground, makes it come to life a little bit. Uh, and adding those few gems on just literally just makes it pop. I, I just love these dies. They're absolutely stunning dies at a fantastic price as well. Because if you think about the ways that you can use them, you're getting more multiple ways of usage. It's not a one-trick pony die. It's a die bread. It's a die bread. 